Well, Broadway is being taken over by another famous street. That story kicking off today's trending stories. Here's a look at our hot topics brought to you by Walton Arts Center. Okay, well, in a new musical, popular characters like Elmo, Ernie, Bert, Rosita, and others, you know those, you know, our, our friends, right? Yeah, of course. They decide to tackle a Broadway show of their own. The director says that the biggest challenge was getting the puppet's eye line right because the actors found themselves dipping the puppet's head while <laughs> looking at the monitor. So uh, you can see Sesame Street, the musical, that is on New York Theater's Row, uh, Theater's Row starting until, uh, well, now until the 17th of September. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I know. Live and in action, uh, the puppets from Sesame Street on stage, that looks like a lot of fun for sure. Well, you might have been following this next story. It's been blowing up on social media. It's all about Bradley Cooper's new prosthetic nose in the film about Leonard Bernstein. And he's embroiled in a little bit of drama right now because he premiered this trailer for his new film, Maestro, where he does play famed composer Leonard Bernstein. And the drama stems from Cooper choosing to use his prosthetics, and some felt it was amplifying anti-Semitic stereotypes. But the conductor's children have now come to Cooper's defense, saying they were, quote, touched to the core to witness the depth of Cooper's commitment, his loving embrace of their father's music, and the sheer open-hearted joy he brought to this exploration. So I saw this trailer drop this week. Um, looks like it's going to be a great film. It's out for holiday season this year, so look out for that one. Interesting. Okay, well, you know, when movies are made about people, I always look to the family to see what the family says, because I feel like their approval and their thoughts matter yes. most. Yes, agree. All right. Well, <laughs> I love this next story. Uh, respect his flow. <laughs> we have a new mullet champ, Meet Rory, and his mullet, of course. The six-year-old advanced to the finals and claimed the 2023 USA Mullet Championship in the kids' division. Rory's mom said he visited the barbershop a year ago and asked for the mullet hairstyle, and he just stuck with it. Each contestant names their mullet. Rory calls his Cheddar Whiz. <laughs> after his favorite way to order his cheesesteak. So okay. all funds raised from the contest will support formal NF former NFL star Jared Allen's Homes for Wounded Warriors, which uh, builds accessible and mortgage-free homes for critically injured U.S. military vets. So I love that. Rory raised over $1,000 for the cause. I mean, look at this. That this... mullet is sweet. Yes. Let me tell you, he's got the products to get it just right. I love it. I do, too. I feel like this video right here makes me want to get a mullet now. Me, too. Look out, everybody. I mean, not going to lie. We all had a version of a mullet at some point. Yes, that's the truth. Absolutely. Yeah. And we talked about this earlier this week because hip-hop is celebrating 50 years all year long. Right now, the Book of HOV exhibition is fueling visitation at the Brooklyn Public Library in New York. The collaboration between the library and Jay-Z's management company, Rock Nation, highlights many of the mogul's most notable accomplishments the exhibition is part of the celebration for hip-hop's 50th anniversary, and that art form is credited with starting in the Bronx borough of New York in August of 1973. This exhibition right here, you can see it if you find yourself in New York. It's going to run all the way through October of this year. Very cool. Uh, we also mentioned uh, Clint Schaff at uh, Hip Hop Hello in Bentonville had a chance to be in New York when all the celebration was happening. I wonder if he had a chance to check out uh, this celebration of hope. So yeah. that's awesome. I 